Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at Justin Matabike. There's a lot of talk about what his future plans are with the Baltimore Ravens. We don't know if he's going to stay or if he's going to, do, to go. We do know that he's going to command a boatload of money, uh, at least 20 mil if he's, if he's franchised. Uh, if they sign him to an extension, that's going to be lucrative. We just don't know. But um, this morning, I don't know if last night, one of the two, Jonah Schaefer put out a um, tweet, and in that tweet was a chart, and it was uh, called Matabike's 2023 Stands Out. Uh, and the subheadline from that, that tweet was, Justin Matabike posted one of the best pass rush win rates, it was 14.6%, and run stop rates, 9.9% .9 of any Ravens defensive lineman since 2006. And what it was on the x-axis, which is the up axis, if I'm not mistaken, if my, my math serves me right from from way back when when i was in school uh he had oh um what 14 so that's yeah right over a little over 14 percent. that was 2023 and then on the y-axis which is to the right at 9.9 .9, so that kind of puts him where it is and you can i'll have the chart up so you can kind of see where it is and that's what it is say the only ravens defense alignment with at least five sacks in the season since 20 since 2006 were accounted for and then run stops, tackles that constitute for a failure on the defense. Then the Chargers has Jonah Schaefer and the source is pro football focus, which is PFF. So that's a, a great season. It has a 2006 price on it, 2022 Calais Campbell, 2009 price, 2012 uh, Lodi Nada, 2022 Matt BK, 2016 uh, Timmy Jernigan, and then 2011 Lodi Nada. So those are some significant uh, Baltimore Ravens interior defensive linemen. So what I did was I went to last season for Matabike. And I picked what I considered to be his best game to see what we would be losing if we lose him or to see what we be what we will be keeping if we decide to keep him. And against the Tennessee Titans, he kind of dominated those guys. And I didn't realize how well he played versus the Tennessee Titans. So what I'm going to do is show you I think I got nine plays of how well he did versus the run and versus the pass to kind of confirm what Jonah Safer put into this chart. So let's take a look at the film versus uh, Tennessee Titans. And this is just a matter of BK versus the Tennessee Titans and to show you how well he did versus the run and versus the pass. And let's get into the film. All right, let's get into the film version of this video uh, and like the video. And at the end of it, if you feel like I've earned a subscription from you, Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when I drop the rest of this offseason content throughout the 2024 offseason. But back to Justin Matter BK and his win rate versus the pass and versus the run. And again, shout out to Jonas for dropping the graph for us on Twitter to kind of inspire this video. Uh, and again, I picked this game because in my eyes, this was one of his better games versus the run and versus the pass. And we'll kind of see how Justin kind of dominated the Tennessee Titans. So we know Justin Matabike is number 92. Let's kind of highlight him a little bit. We'll highlight him the first couple of plays and we'll kind of fall off on the highlights. So that's him right there. Let's get into it. Let's look at like how he just takes over the, what's the A gap? That would be the A gap. So he's in the three technique. He's going to cross face of the guard and just take over the A gap. Now, he doesn't make the tackle, but to me, this is still a win because this, this ball is designed to hit downhill in A-gap, but they can't do that because Justin Matabike is there. So he's forced to bounce it, and when he's forced to bounce it for Derrick Henry, I feel like he, he's not at his best when he has to change direction quickly. Now, if they was running stretch or something, it'd be different, but when you have to make Derrick Henry go to plan B, that's when you have a chance to stop him. And by matter BK clogging up this hole, that makes him have to stick his foot in the ground, then change directions. Now you can rally the troops to go tackle him. And so to me, this is a win. See, I had to change his change direction, and you know, now you got people there to round him up. You got Kyle there, you got Marlo there. So to me, this is a win versus the run. Now, does matter BK get a stat for that? No. But I think it goes toward that win rate. And I'm not sure if PFL calculates that as a win. 
but I personally think it, it does. On this next play, he's right here. And we know he's 92, so I won't keep, you know, after this one, I won't even highlight him anymore. We'll just talk about him. Against the run again, again. Same, pretty much similar. So on this one, now they are running the stretch. They are running the stretch. And Van Noy does a good job of setting the edge. And Matt BK, what he does is he takes on the, the guard, presses the guard back, doesn't allow the guard to reset the line of scrimmage. He resets the line of scrimmage negatively and also stays flat down the line of scrimmage. So what he's doing is he's keeping his gap integrity while also not allowing the guard to get to the second level. So look at that. He's pressing the guard out while also maintaining his, his inside gap. And so now with them having to cut it back, when he decides to cut it back, he cuts it back right into Matabike. So to me, this is another win in the run. Staying flat down the line of scrimmage, not getting up field and being allowed to be cut back on, staying inside your gap, keeping that arm free, and winning. And so once he cut it back to your gap, now you're right there to make the tackle. And did they gain yards on it? Yeah, it's a minimal gain, one, maybe two yards. But still, that's that's the perfect way to play that. And to me, that's another win versus the guard because the guard went backwards. Look at it. Look how he, he that's the guards are the yard or two in the backfield. Derrick Henry's just big enough to fall forward. So to me, that's another win for Matter BK in the run game. And I put this one on there from this view because when I did the end zone view, the sky cam was in the way. So I, I, that's why we have the sideline view of this one. Look what he does to the, the other guard. Same thing versus the run. Another win. Watch how, watch how far he takes the guard back in the backfield. Look at the base. Look at the leverage. Look at the base and leverage. The guard's head just pops up like a... a Pez. I'm telling my age right now. If you know what a Pez is, the little candy with it, and you just pop the head up. Watch the guard's head. Pew. Pew. Just like a Pez, and the little candy pop out. Pop. If you know what a Pez is, put it in the comment section. If you don't know, you're too young. And then look at the, what, well, yard or two back. So now, look, look at this. I didn't realize this at first. Matter BK is on the knee. He's on his knee, but he comes straight up off of it. And still, with the strength, do running back runs right. Is that Henry? Or is that uh, Spears? I think this is Spears. Now, he may not have been able to arm tackle Henry right here, but he had help. But again, just look at the strength. So the win rate is justified. Dominating their guards. For TFL. The initial, the initial shock, bam. The leverage, the low leverage. Get, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get off the ground, and still continue to fight with my hands. And it's not just the the lower body strength; it's the hands. Look at. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Look at his left arm, how it's up under the shoulders of the um, guard. And he's gonna take that left arm and kind of move the guard out the way. And which that's what's going to put him directly in the path of the running back. You can see that left arm with the tape on it. It's right up under the right shoulder armpit of the guard. And he's going to take that and move the guard out the way. See, right there. And now he's right there where he needs to be to make the tackle. The running back runs right into him. And this is one of the little games that um, Mike played now on this one. Uh, all the things they talked about him winning at, and I, I should have mentioned this from the jump. Um, sacks, tackles, tackles for loss, pressures, and QB hits. So this is a QB hit. And this is one of the games that, that you know, that Mike played. This is Ben Noyes going to try to cross 
Dillard's face to get to the guard and allow uh, Matter BK to, to loop around him. So and I'll make this a little smaller. So make this a little smaller. So what's going to happen is Van Noy is going to try to come in. And I said I was going to make it smaller than I did. There we go. Van Noy is going to try to come in and take on 77. And then Matt Abike is going to make his way around to try to get to Tannehill. That's what's going to try to happen. He's even working his way to the guard. And that's basically, that's a pick play. And it gets Matabike a free shot on Tannehill. Now, what this does is, it does nothing for the play. Obviously, it's an incompletion. But what it does is, is you constantly hit the quarterback, they start to feel it. They start to feel it. The, the, the ribs start to hurt. They start to get a little antsy in the pocket. That's why I think they started making a stat for quarterback hits. Because eventually, that stuff starts to hurt and play on the psyche of the quarterback. And so that matters. Would you rather have sacks? Yes, we, we all would. But those hits and those pressures, they matter. This is another game. Another one. Just, and just look at his pressures. There's a game between him and Queen, and him and Queen, you know, had a great relationship with these games. Both of these guys are free agents right now, at the moment. Look at Queen. Taking out the guard. Matter BK coming right off of it. And that puts Matter BK one on one with a tailback. The tailbacks are never going to win that. Henry might be the only tailback that has a chance. Spears don't have a chance. Look, he just takes Spears out of the way completely. Completely. So this is the win for Matter BK. Now, who, we don't care if it's Spears. Whoever gets in the way on the train tracks, you get dealt with. You get dealt with. It's the next play. Just, just, he's just replacing the guard. Like the, guy, the guards don't stand a chance. If he get one-on-ones versus guards, he wins. Look at him just displace this guy. The left, he's lower than him. He stands him straight up. He sees the ball and just get rid, gets rid of the guard. Okay, the ball is inside. I've played with you long enough. See you later, my friend. And I'm going to go make this tackle. Now, do they get a yard or two? Yeah, they do. But this is perfect as a guard. I mean, as a defensive tackle versus the guard. Hands inside. I'm going to stand you up. Now, I I, I lock you out. See where the ball is and attack the ball. That's perfect. That's teach tape for D-linemen. And we'll close this out with this one right here. They moved him to the outside. He's on the edge now. He's he's So, now he's going against tackles. So, this is going to up his value when he comes to negotiate, whether it be for the Ravens, whether it be for any other team. So he's not just confined to three technique and nose. Now you have him as an outside rusher. So this adds to his value. So not only can he win versus guards, look what he does to a tackle. He obliterates this tackle. He just runs right through him. And this is where his power can just show. The little hand move doesn't really work. So now I'm just going to run right through you. I'm just going to run right through you. I wouldn't even call this a bull rush. What's more dominant than a bull? Is it, if whatever's more dominant than a bull, that's what this is. Because it's, it's like the, the tackles are paper mache. And he runs right through him. The tackles are matador. So we can't call it a bull rush. This is a bull rush, but the tackles are matador. Ole. So, you know, Matter BK is about to command. So if we franchise tag him, that's at 20 mil. If he hits the open market, he's probably going to get more than that from somebody. Because he, he, you know, people were thinking that he was just winning because of the games that Mike played. No, no, it's not just that. And it's not just pass rush. He does it against the run, too. The, the graph that Jonas put, put out this morning, again, shout out to Jonas for, for sharing that graph with us. You know, that kind of told the story that he's not just a pass rusher. I just showed you that he dominates guards. 
He can win versus tackles also. So, you know, and the man's extremely important. Is he going to be back with Baltimore? I do not know. But I just know this time next year, his pockets are going to be fat, <laughs> extremely fat. And I salute to you, my brother, for doing what you need to do to set yourself up and your family for the rest of your life. So whether it's in Baltimore or somewhere else, salute to you, Justin Matter BK, for turning yourself into a guy because you are, quote unquote, and this is me doing the air quotes, you are officially a guy. And this is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films. And again, even though it's off season, the film still works. And it was a pleasure for me to bring you some film study today. And I um, hope you guys support. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. Uh, if you have not subscribed, what are you doing? <laughs> hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of this off-season content drops. And I'll see y'all soon, man. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you like it, share it. And I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Uh, it's FTMF. It's film damn more film because the film don't lie. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs>